Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm CodeZealot and today I have a video for you guys on my new command book. Now the odds are, if you're watching this, you want to learn how to use commands in Minecraft 1.13. Now this can be an overwhelming thing to go about, especially if you've been coding since the beginning because there have been a lot of changes to how commands work in vanilla Minecraft. Now don't be discouraged. There is a lot of potential here for us all to learn a lot more than we know already. But what if we're just feeling overwhelmed and when we go ahead and try and use this new autocomplete system for the commands, you know, we just start feeling like we don't know what's going on. There's all these new options and we just need some help. Well, this is what I've made for you guys to help you guys with the transition from Minecraft 1.12 to 1.13. It's called the command book. Now, how you use this thing is you pretty much put it in your offhand. And what this will do is it'll open up a command manager. So let's check it out. So here we go. I have this command manager now in my chat system, and I've broken it up into these little modules. Now, in this version of the command book, I just made this yesterday, so it's a little clunky still. You can see how there is just a lot here. What I'm going to do in the future is I'm going to break these down, these managers, into a list, and then when you click on the manager, it'll drop down to the sublist, so it'll be a lot cleaner. But for now, let's go ahead and just check it out. So here we are. Here is the start of the management system. And then we'll see our first module, which is about weather controls. So if I click on any of these, you'll see that I can actually manipulate the weather in Minecraft without having to type out any commands. So I just hit the rain, and you can see it got darker back there. If I go ahead and hit storm, it's going to get even darker than it already is. And if I go ahead and hit sunny, it'll get nice and sunny for us. So that's the first module I have here for you. The second module has to do with my class system in Vanilla Minecraft. So if you're interested in this, go ahead and check out the, the videos I have on my new class system in 1.13. So I'm not going to showcase this here, but pretty much this is a fast track way for me to join and leave classes. Next, we have this time control. So you can make it nighttime or you can make it daytime. Look at that. You don't have to type a single command. Next, I have a data manager. You know, if you're working with data packs, if you want to see which ones are enabled, you can click on this and you know down at the bottom here it says I have vanilla and then my class system and then the command book is enabled so that's how we got that going down there and then also we have an inventory manager now this one I'm sure you guys are all wanting to use because we use these commands all the time if you click on give you can see that it auto completes it for you all you got to do is pretty much pick out the item you want so let's just pick one let's see an apple you click on that you can press spacebar to do the auto completion from dinner bone system and then all you got to do is put the count in and look it tells you right here count so let's just put three and press enter and look at that guys we just ran a give command without having to memorize or learn any of the syntax all right let's check out another manager now okay this is a good one check this out guys have you ever wanted to use the minecraft summon command but got overwhelmed because you couldn't figure out how to use it well, check this out. All you got to do is click on Summon Entity, and then you pick the entity you want to summon. So let's pick something here. I don't know. Let's pick something new. Hmm. Let's go ahead and pick, uh, I don't know. There's a lot here. Man, this is overwhelming. There are so many things in Minecraft 1.13. Let's try the Phantom. All right, so you click on Phantom. You press Spacebar to autocomplete. And then all you got to do is put the coordinates in, or you can just go ahead and summon it right where you're standing by using these three tildes. Press spacebar and then press enter. And look, a new phantom has just been summoned. This is just making things so much easier. So if you want to change your difficulty, you can even use this difficulty manager. Look, peaceful mode. You just click on that. Difficulty has been set to peaceful, easy mode, normal mode, hard mode. It's all right here. And the last thing I have to show you guys is I haven't completed this module yet, but this is pretty much going to be a module for all kinds of tools that you might need while playing Minecraft. So, I mean, we've all had the experience of going to craft something and not remembering the recipe or trying to look up a command for Minecraft. And, you know, you got to get out of the game. You got to open your web browser. You got to do all that stuff, type it in. What I've done for you here is I've actually made a manager where we can put links to different websites. So if you click on this, this will actually take you to Google. 
So you can go to Google and search up whatever, you know, Minecraft recipe you're looking for. Or if you're trying to figure out how to run a certain command without using the command book, if you just want to do it the old-fashioned way and type it out, you can go to my channel and check out my tutorial videos. So check this out. You click on this, and there you go. This will bring you right to my channel. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this video. There's more to come on this command book. Like I said, this is just the first version I threw together last night, and I'm going to clean this up so it doesn't explode in the chat system with all these commands. It's going to be much more compact, and you can pretty much add and remove these different managers based on what your needs are for your own personal map or server. So anyways, guys, if you enjoy this video, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe so you can get all of this content on my channel. And if you hit the bell icon, you'll never miss a video because each time I upload, you'll get a notification. All right, guys, thanks so much, and I'll see you all in the next video.